Good day guys, my name is Lorenzo Spool. Welcome back to another reaction video, man. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel that makes videos um, seem interesting. I think I'm interesting, but guys, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down below, man. And thank you for joining me in this learning journey. And I hope I make this video exciting for you. Today's video is how far is the Malhama? Malhama. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I don't even know what's a Malhama. But we shall find out. Let's get to it, guys. Okay. Yes, nuclear war will come soon. The Balhama is coming soon. Why? Because Jerusalem is now sent to stage. And Medina, or Yathrib, is now in full-on desolation. Yes, it's coming soon. What's... How soon? The end of the That's world? a good question. How soon? Now give me a few minutes. You've got to be able to connect the dots. Okay. And read history. When the First World War took place, they would not have succeeded in the First World War unless the United States had entered into the war. Yeah, that's true. And in order to get the United States to enter into the war, because the American people were not in favor of war. And uh, Henry Ford did a great work, Henry Ford, to convince the American people not to enter the war. Mm. But they had to use great deception to turn their population around it was a german submarine which sank a, a, a ship and a colossal loss and that was used but they sent the ship to be a sitting duck wow. and that's how they got a chance to enter the first world war and be able to succeed when the second world war took place Again, they would not have succeeded unless the United States entered the war. <laughs> so what did they do? <laughs> they plotted something. In order to get the United States to enter the war, they have to do something. Roosevelt ordered the American fleet to be assembled at Pearl Harbor to be parked there. The admirals of the U.S. Navy said to him, are you crazy? If we come to Pearl Harbor, we will be sitting ducks. Of course. For a Japanese attack. But that is what Roosevelt wanted. <laughs> so he overruled the admirals, sent the U.S. Navy to Pearl Harbor in order that it could be attacked by the Japanese and get Second the causeless bellum, the opportunity to be able to justify entering into the Second World War. Every time they wage war, it has always been by deception. That is sick, man. And I can continue to give you more examples. But this one coming is going to be the mother of all deceptions. Too sick. They could not wage the First and Second World War until they had a man in the White House they could trust. Trump. If Hillary Clinton had won the last election, we may have had the Malhama already. It is my opinion, and I believe there are many analysts who will agree with me, that they cannot trust Trump. No. So, so long as Trump is President of the United States of America, there will be no Malhama. No. They cannot trust him. In order for them to have the Great War, they need someone else in the White House. Wow. So, don't be surprised if there is an impeachment and uh, Pence replaces Trump. And if Pence were to replace Trump, then the stage will be set. 
Then you need, you have your man in the White House, then you need some extraordinary act Victor of deception. deception. And I believe I know what it's going to be, but I'm afraid to speak about it. Come on! Don't leave us hanging. I can't believe he left us hanging, man. I need to find out. What do you guys think it is? Comment down below. Don't be scared, guys. Let me know, please. Let me know, guys. Don't like war. I don't want war. I don't wish there would be a war. I want peace and happiness and love for every human being. And I want everyone to love each other. But the reality is that some forces do not want that. They want power at all times. And sometimes power comes at great cost. Cost of human lives. Kids, women, you know. It's bad. I don't like it. Comment down below and tell me guys what he was going to say. I would love to hear your thoughts. This is a very scary and very not so happy situation. Thank you for watching guys. My name is Brother School. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.